What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout 76 video. So in this one, I'm planning to do the Order of the Tadpole questline or DLC, what have you. The problem with making a Let's Play on this is that it actually has its somewhat grindy part where you have to go and do, uh, I guess you could say, uh, separate things so you can complete uh, certain sections of the badges, I guess you could say. And in order to do that, you have to do things that are separate than everything else uh, on uh, on the quest line. Essentially, what I'm saying is that we're basically going to be doing the repeatable quests here on the channel. And then I'm going to take a little hiatus from recording for a couple of hours while I go and do that myself. And while I'm doing that, obviously, I'm not going to record it. And then I'm going to record the last portion of that, most likely just like the test or something. And then we're going to just finish it up here on the channel so that we can actually physically complete the game here on, or the the the, the uh, quest line here on the channel. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get on with it. All right. So I actually put my survival tent here next to, what is it, Camp Adams or something like that? Hold on, I should say right here, Camp Lewis. There we go. I put it right here next to Camp Lewis so that we can actually come and find this place here. Now, wait, let me let me actually go into my pit boy now that I think about it. Oh, wait, not over here. Over here. So that we can actually... Hold on, where is it? Oh, there we go. Order the tadpole. And while we're here, let's go ahead and turn off that day it's daily all right right here there we go that way it's the only thing that's being marked so let's go ahead and do that yeah the reason why i wanted to do this is that is because i really wanted to get the backpack it something that really comes in handy and another thing i actually finally made it to level 50 oh that was scary. Is that everybody? I hear a mile lurk somewhere though. It's just one it looks like, so let's go ahead and take care of him. Oh, nope. I thought these guys were dead. I should take this so that I won't be hungry later. All right, well, let's go find this. Let's go talk to this guy so he can give us our quest. Ever upwards. That's the Pioneer Scout way. Hello. What have we here? Why, you have the look of a promising recruit. Why, thank you. Just the kind of person I'm searching for. Due to membership numbers falling below acceptable standards, I have been authorized by, well, myself to welcome you <laughs> to the Pioneer Scouts. You have joined the ranks of the most patriotic and perpetually prepared young and recently not so young men and women of America. You are hereby assigned the rank of tadpole. This is your official Pioneer Scout uniform. Keep it clean and wear it with pride. Now go forth, my little tadpole, and get to work on those badges with diligence and determination. You'll be a Awesome in no time. Yay. Awesome. So, first things first is we are doing this. There's no way we're not going to wear that. Let's take off the Union hat too, actually. There we go. Look at me. I'm a Tadpolian. Alright, so where do we have to go first? Alright, revive an ally. That we're probably going to record off camera. And then... We're probably definitely going to do helpfulness. Clean up kitty corners. And we're probably going to do ba bravery. And that'll be it. Because kindness is going to be somewhat hard to do here on the video. And then of course the earn worldwide challenge badges. That one's definitely going to get taken care of off camera. So, let's go ahead and find our way over to... Let's go to Kitty Corners. 
I believe this is the way. It is. So let's go to Kitty Corners. And we'll take care of that first. That way we can knock one out just pretty much right off the bat. And then the second one is going to be Bravery. That's over there at Dolly Sods. I don't even know if I've discovered that yet. Um, where is it at? Oh, uh, it's right here. Yes, I have. Cool. So uh, we can actually just fast travel there immediately after we're done with this quest. So that's amazing. What am I getting attacked by? Nothing. It does that pretty frequently for some reason. It's pretty weird. The good thing is... Uh... Well, there is nothing good. That was just weird. Oh, but since I am level 50 and stuff like that, I have been getting mutations and stuff like that too. So, I got Adrenal Reaction, Carnivore, Egghead, Grounded, Healing Factor, which is one of my favorites. Uh, Marsupial, another one of my favorites. Scaly Skin and Speed Demon, which is another one of my favorites. Talons and Twisted Muscles. So, those are pretty much my favorite. Or, those are my favorite my mutations I'm trying to get them all just for the hell of it but that's probably gonna take a while my main character doesn't even have them all yet all right uh, we should be literally getting close I want to say it's on the other side of this river we should probably start crossing now, though, huh? Sorry, buddy. But you must go. You have been eradicated. Alright. Toronimo! So I gotta be quiet because sometimes there's like rat scorpions that spawn here. Oh, looks like it's just an iBot. Hey, I killed you. No, die! There we go. There he is, the, the wonderful little robot. You, sir, talk to me. I think everyone just looks a little more calm. Why, well, yes, I am. Nice to meet a new Pioneer Scout. I love nature, don't you? Pioneer Scouts love all of nature, even the smelly skunks and ugly opossums. Can you say opossum? Opossum. Good. One thing all the boys and girls in Pioneer Scouting hate <clears throat> is toxic mutagenic waste. Can you say toxic mutagenic waste? Toxic mutagenic waste. Pioneer Scouts used to pick up trash to earn a badge. That's pretty futile now. Can you say futile? Futile. I knew you could. Yay. You could earn a badge by cleaning up nasty old toxic mutagenic waste and putting it in a containment barrel. Can you say containment barrel? Containment I barrel. Knew you could. Now run along and earn that badge. Toxic mutagenic waste may cause spurious genetic modifications, some of which may be harmful or even fatal. <laughs> That's funny. It is... Oh, we got a grafted monster over there, too. Oh, but right next to where we're supposed to go. Hopefully... Well, let's hit him once. Now that we have our... What I'm hoping to be my primary weapon, hopefully it's a pretty decent one. Hopefully we'll be able to take him out. Oh god. Oh, there we go. Let's go! Let's see how this does. Oh god. It's not doing bad, actually. It's actually doing pretty good. I like it. Crossbow. Alright, cool. We got our crossbow already, too. So that's nice. Alright, that's one. That's two. Is that all? 
All right, looks like there's a more directly forward. We have to clean up five. So we still got a couple more to go. Shouldn't be too difficult from this point forward, though. Seeing as we already took out the big bad monster. Watch there be like 12 Wendigos. Eight Myler Queens. Four Myler Kings and all kinds of stuff just randomly appear. All right. Let's check the area and make sure there's nothing else. So far, so good. Alright, there's more literally right on the other side. Okay, I see it right there. Oh, God. Run! Toxic Valley literally raids you like crazy. Can't say I've, I've ever been a huge fan of uh, the Toxic Valley. I like it in idea and concept, but I don't really like it in the game as far as me being here, period. So that's four. Where's the last one? No, let's go ahead and stop tracking that for now. It might be right, just right next to the robot. Wait, another one appeared? Oh, that's to... To d dispose of it. No, wait. No. Did I? Oh, I already have it all. That's why. Here you go. Now what? Yay! Operation Tidy is complete. What do you want? Very nice. Pioneer Scout Bowie Knife. Nice. That would actually be somewhat handy, seeing as I'm a one-handed build. Uh-oh. Ah! Who are you running at? Oh, God. Oh, God. Is that everybody? It is. All right, let's go. What I was trying to do is... Go over here and get into my notes so that I can actually use the stuff. Pioneer Scouts Bowie Knife. Alright, cool. Well, let's fast travel to Dolly Sods now and do the next part of the quest. 30 caps, man, that's expensive. Yeah, this mission is pretty cool. Uh, mainly for its rewards. I uh, like the Pioneer Scouts. Um, in this game, they're just very fun, in my opinion. And the NPCs are pretty funny. My favorite NPC, though, in the game... Is actually... Uh, I'm not going to ruin anything, but it's actually the main guy in... Uh, waste The Wasted on Nuka Shine questline. Let's see how we do against this Yao Guai. Oh god. So far... So good, but it's not healing me. I mean, again, so far so good, but it didn't heal me. Are they looking for me? They are. Where are they? I don't know. Okay, maybe we should take care of this guy first. Die! What about now? Alright, we're good. Let's go ahead and talk to the robot. Hello. Reporting for duty, sir. I feel a certain swell of pride when I see a scout in uniform. Or rather, I would if I had feelings. Oh, great. Another tadpole. Yay. I was once the assistant to a world-renowned entomologist. Now, I'm a pioneer scout. I bet you don't even know what an entomologist is. The last tadpole nope. kept saying etymologist. I hit him with a dictionary. <laughs> Actually, my programming didn't let me. But I wanted to really badly. Entomology is 
the study of bugs. Oh, okay. Words. And there are far too many bugs around these days. Where did they get so big? I've been continuing my previous primary investigator's work. If you could get me some insect parts from these new species, I could fashion an insect repellent. Here's a list. I've marked some places where you might find the right species. But really, the parts can come from anywhere. Awesome. So where's their first hit point? It's actually north. Get a blood bug, uh, proboscis, rad roach, stingwing, tick. This guy's buying all kinds of stuff. I mean, don't mind me. Go have at it, bro. All right, we got to go north. Let's go. It's going to be the one on the left. Why do I have... Oh, yeah, there's two over here. Here, let's fast travel to Freddy's House of Scares. Oh, God. This guy's literally buying everything. That's crazy. All right, Leia, let's go to Freddy's House of Scares. We'll get, get the blowfly, and then we'll come down and get the proboscis. And then just keep on going south from there. Let's go. It's good, especially because we officially have money, or at least a decent amount of money, because that guy decided to buy 90% of my things. He's probably going to end up selling it himself for more, though. I found that people do that. They'll buy my cheaper weapons and sell them for a little bit more, which is 100% fine with me. I don't even care. I just need... I, I prefer having a quick flow of money versus having my stuff sitting and waiting and then selling them for a pretty big, pro uh, pretty big profit. I'd rather have a consistent flow of caps and always have caps instead of going certain periods of time without a transaction you know that's just me though everyone is entitled to make their own uh to do their own thing after all we live in the greatest country in the world <laughs> all right wait what is this this blood bug, isn't it? Yep, alright, blood bug gland. Do I have a grenade? Yeah, this works. I'm not gonna throw a... A plasma over there. Let's go! Oh, there's two of these guys. Oh god. Oh god. Well, it looks like we got the bloat fly dead. So there's that. This guy's gonna be easy because he's low level. Die! Ah! Get away from me! There we go. Are right, you? You're gonna be my bloat fly of choice. And you happen to be a legendary. Gland, right there. It was a gland, right? Yes, it was. Alright, so now we gotta go south. Cool. Yeah, that was pretty simple. And amazing. Yeah, this sword isn't very strong, but the fact that it's a vampire's... It's a... It's, it's a pretty decent. My thing is... I wanted this sword... Only for uh, the fact that... It's a revolutionary sword, and my guy obviously role plays as a, or not my guy, my character. I role play my character as a uh, Union soldier. That's why I have like a little fort for a camp. So of course I was gonna have the revolutionary sword. The only problem is that I don't have any mods for it. So, oh well. I would like to have this serrated and add some bleed damage. Roxanne! Roxanne! 
All right, we're here. Really quick, what is it? This is for the pro, uh, blood bug proboscis. So I freaking hate blood bugs because they do that damage over time stuff, and it's pretty annoying. Let's go ahead and chill out for a second. Make sure we get... No, not you. Holy crap, it's a Myler Queen. It would be pretty cool to test this weapon against her, but I don't want to do that just yet. So let's go sneaky sneak around her. I think we made it. Oh, it's that freaking house. I think this is the one where people always spawn fighting each other here. No, no, it's not. Oh, I know where I'm at. Proboscis, there you are. All right, where are we going now? Way down here to get some Rad Roach merchandise. This is actually somewhere you go for a side quest. And you get a unique uh, hazmat suit. It's actually a really cool hazmat suit. That's something I wish Bethesda added skins for in this game. I wish Bethesda added uh, skins for the uh, for the hazmat suit, man. Because the hazmat suit is freaking ugly, dude. I hate it. Oh, this is the house that I was talking about where things spawn always fighting each other. It looks like it's scorched versus what else? A mud crab. I mean, a hermit crab. Alright. Very nice. Not really interested, though. Let's go! We must vacate the premises before they turn their forces on us. Last thing we need is to get fixated on something like that. Even though they probably wouldn't be able to do anything to me. Hello? Do we still have a long way to go? Probably. Yes, we do. Oh, well. I hope that event for powering up a siding doesn't turn up while I'm here. I've really disliked those. They're too big. Having to run from place to place, fixing stuff, and it's very easy to miss stuff, and I don't know. I don't really like powering up a Sidon, but it's a cool quest line because that's, uh, like, if you want to get it for free, that's the way you get all your water generators and stuff like that. Oh, God, what was that? I heard something weird. Let's just go before we end up getting jumped. Is there something behind me? This guy literally made a camp. All right, let's go. I'm kind of interested to go back to my camp and find out how much stuff I have left and what exactly I have left you know what I would probably do I'm probably gonna go if someone launches a nuke uh, and do that because people get downed all the time and I might be able to revive an ally that way you know but that one I have a feeling is gonna be the long the long one that's it's gonna take me a little bit unless I get one of my buddies to come in and get downed you know but we'll see we'll see what approach this is rad roach I think right let's see well I can tear turn this off now so so this is definitely rad roach and then there's these two
We're actually getting lucky so far. Knock on wood, of course. I don't have wood, but... Whatever. But uh, we're getting kind of lucky because normally... Or sometimes I'll be doing this mission and... Like, let's say these rad roaches are just not here. Alright, thank you for your rad roach meat. Let's kill everybody. Because we're like homicidal that way. There we go. It was nice meeting you guys. You guys are super sweet. Alright, so let's go. We'll go to this one first and then we'll make our way up over here. So we'll, what is this? Stingwing. Oh god. Stingwing, stingwings are another one of those bugs that are annoying. Blood bugs are probably the worst though. In my opinion. And of course, blow fry, uh, flies are like the easiest. Alright, let's see. So far, so good. This revolutionary sword is actually pretty good. L let me show you what it is. I don't think I, I don't think I've showed you. So I found this on a vending on a pl another player's vending machine for like four hundred caps. I thought it was a pretty decent deal, and uh, it's a revolutionary sword, which is what I was looking for. So it has the vampire's effect, which is gain brief health regeneration when you hit an enemy. Uh, reflects fifty percent of melee damage back while blocking, but obviously I don't really block too often. So the other the last one is also the same thing, which is take 15% less damage while blocking. Again, I don't really block, so that part is not really useful for me. We should actually be almost there, to be honest. Let, let's check the map really quick. Oh, God. What's going on? There we go. Oh no, I think this guy's doing the same thing. I hope he's just passing by. Because if he kills my sting wings, that would suck. Oh, we're in Tanagra Town. Should we check how it does against... Uh... Yeah, let's check how it does against uh... Death Claw. What's up, bro? Ah! Power punch. Oh, God. He's doing pretty good, though. There we go. He didn't... He didn't, uh... For some reason, this isn't healing me. At least not that I've noticed. Okay, yeah, it looks like he just passed by. Hopefully he didn't go around destroying everything. Because if he did, we're going to have... Well, there's other places we can go to get a Stingwing Barb. Look at this dead body. You alright, bro? Get up. Stop being dramatic. You're fine. Um. Let me see. Is it this one? It is. It's this one. Oh, God. Yeah, that's not good. Let's creep our way down there. Um, what did that kill me? No. That was scary though. Alright, let's go. We have to go on a little swim. Oh god, what's going on? Ah! Uh, 
The game's lagging a little bit. Alright, so the other player is literally right around here too. I just briefly saw him pop up on my little directional map thing or whatever on the bottom. My compass. So let's see if we can get ourselves a stingwing barb through here. I hope. I hope we're able to. Alright. Moment of truth. Yay! Glowing stingwing. There you are. Does he have a stingwing barb? That is the that is the big thing. Where is he? No, I need you. Is this him? There he is. Stingwing barb. Super sick, bro. Now I have to get a tick sack. <laughs> Alrighty. And the good thing is that it's literally right around the corner too, so it's gonna we're gonna be there in no time. And just like that, we're pretty much already here. Oh, dude, I hate this place, dude. There's, I know where we're going. We're going to that little shack that has, is like completely infected by, right, by them, or maybe not. Yeah, no, I think we're probably not. Oh, this one might not. Oh, it is, it is it. This one might not have it because of this guy's camp. Oh! I swear, dude, we've, we got, we've been lucky. Am I tripping? Why would a freaking tick have... A Molotov cocktail. Let's go ahead and kill all these guys. You guys are disgusting. Is this guy a shop? He's not even a shop. It's just some dude's camp. That's interesting. It's powered up and everything. Alright, he is selling stuff, but for some reason it's not showing up on my thing. Nothing interesting. Alright, let's go. Alright, so now we did all of that. I thought we did bravery. Oh, we have to go turn it in still, don't we? Duh. Alright, where is it at? Oh, no, wait. Yep, all right. Let's go back and deliver this to the Mr. Handy. I was about to say, are you going to fast travel or what? A oh, little funny thing or whatever. That guy in the yellow power armor, the excavator in the back or whatever, that's actually Oxhorn. He doesn't know that's him, but I saw him a long time ago, dude. Like when this the Lying Low quest line first came out, we had the uh, Sheep Squatch imposter. We, uh, I did the, uh, mission or whatever, the, where you, like, summon the Sheep Squatch imposter and then everyone comes and fights. Well, he was one of the ones that responded and I took advantage and took a picture. I thought it was pretty cool. Yay! Whip up a batch and you're ready to go. Woohoo! Drink this down. And insects will find you taste just awful. Kind of like this repellent taste. Very nice. Alright, so... While we're here, let's go ahead and... Take this mounted firefly. Super cool. Alright, so we're gonna cut it here. We're gonna go revive an ally, which is literally once someone gets down, you just use a stim pack on them. 
it's obviously that's not an enemy so once you do that that mission should be completed and then the last uh world challenges i'm gonna do obviously on my own as well so uh for you guys it's gonna be a quick jump for me it's probably gonna be a couple of hours of playing this quest line so let's go ahead and do that all right guys so as you can see on the top right on the order of the tadpole it says demonstrate uh pioneer scout values three out of four and the growth uh earn scout world challenges two out of three so i already did all the tests and stuff like that i just need one more and that's basically all we need to complete this quest so coming over here we're gonna go into the pioneer scouts uh thing or whatever if that freaking robot can just be quiet we can finally take our exam all i need to do is just take this uh archer exam and we'll be all done so let's see question number one hopefully it's not a hard one an arrow is made of four parts which is not one of them let's see an arrow is a shell it's not a shotgun all right, question number two. You're excited for your first big trip to the archery range at Camp Adams. One problem. You have a handful of sharp arrows. What type of bag should you carry the arrows in? That's a quiver, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a quiver. All right, come on, please record already. Any minute now. All right, there we go. Question number three. Alice is uh, taking aim at her target when she notices her rival, Annie, retrieving arrows from the target in the next lane. What should Alice do? Uh, yes. Aim the bow downward. And slowly release tension on the bowstring. Four out of five. Oh, dude, we're almost done. Let's see. Bows and arrows have been used for a long time. You don't say. All right. Around when uh, do researchers say the first bows and arrows were created? Oh, crap. Uh, 64,000 years ago, maybe? Because they were cave people. The cavemen, right? No, wait. Maybe. I don't know. I'm just going to guess this. Because it was before the Jesus time and stuff like that. Definitely before 100. 2.5 million is the time of the dinosaurs. I'm just going to guess 64,000 years. Alright, let's see. You're completing an archery tournament at Camp Lewis. On the final shot, you land an arrow on the inner red ring. So close. How many points was that worth? Uh, eight. Yay! Well, we're done. I think we have to just talk to the robot again. Alright, let's go. Speak with the scout leader. What's up, broski? It's been a while. How you been? Are you going to talk to me or... Sam wants you to join the Pioneer Scouts. Dude. Oh, hello there. You're just the tadpole I was looking for. I have wonderful news. Yay, what is that? You've proven yourself more than capable as a novice tadpole. And so it's time for recognition and reward. In the spirit of our proud Pioneer Scout motto, Ever Upwards, I am pleased to grant you the rank of possum. Yay. Your challenges will be greater, as will my expectations of you. But I know you'll find the pluck and perseverance you need to succeed. Right then, it's time to get to work on your next set of badges. Go out there and make Uncle Sam proud. Well, I'm very proud of myself. So the good thing about this is that we, as you can see there, Pioneer Scout, uh, Scout Tadpole Backpack, I unlocked backpacks and that's mainly why i wanted to do this first before some of the other uh dlcs is for the backpacks man they come in handy oh it's not an actual plan okay 
Awesome. Do I get... Let me see. Oh, yeah. One of the things that it unlocks, too, by doing this, it allows you to be able to come to these machines over here. This is for possum, so this is what I qualify for. I want a hat. I have... Wait, no, I don't have... Oh, wait, that's right. I'm a tadpole. So I need to come to this one and get a tadpole hat. So I got three. I'm going to get these. Yep, I'm going to get this. That way I can actually have a full set. Where's my beautiful little... Oh, I can actually put the backpack on too and the tadpole. So look, that's my backpack and then that's my hat. Yay! All right. So that's basically it. Uh, it for this part right here. I kind of want to go back and craft a different backpack though. So let's go back to our camp really quick and see if we can uh, craft anything better than this. Or at least at bare minimum, raise it up to a level 50 backpack. But who knows? I suppose we'll see right now. Where are we at? Alright, my crafting benches are over here. Backpack would be under... Armor workbench? Right? Yep, there it goes. Alright, so standard backpack. This is an atom shop, atom shop. All of this is atom shop. Okay, so the only thing that it gives you is the standard backpack. But I thought it gave you a different one too. Um, this one would be cool for my other thing, but no, I can't even get a level 50 because I'm short on leather. So let's see if, wait, what level is the one that I'm wearing anyways? Level 20. I mean, I suppose level 20 is better than nothing, but. So much for that. Whoops, wrong button. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this video, you guys. I really wanted to unlock backpacks because, you know, weight management is pretty difficult at times, man. So having a little bit of extra carry weight is pretty imperative, especially to this character, seeing as this is the one that I pay, play for the channel. But uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. There is also new challenges that you unlocked by doing that uh, part of the quest line. You get the possum, and I think there's one more tier after that, which I'm not entirely sure what it is because I'd never really played it. But again, that's all the stuff in this DLC. I really liked it. I'm not going to lie to you. It's really cool. The The possum scouts are probably my favorite little faction, man. It's just like adorable how everything plays out, but I don't know. Let me know if you liked this, this video down below. Comment if you got the backpack yourself and let me know down in the comments don't forget to drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and i'll definitely catch you guys in the next video deuces